I've had this debate many, many times in the comments on some of my videos. When is a PC not a gaming PC? When does it cross the line? At what point do we draw the line between a PC being a PC and a PC being a gaming PC? Let's take a look. popular videos on my channel is one where I said that I bought a gaming PC from Computer Exchange. Now on that video people have been pretty mean in the comments which I don't mind. Freedom of speech and all that as long as it's not hate speech I don't mind. Um, they've, they've been saying that that PC isn't a gaming PC. Uh, now the, the simple way of shutting that argument down would be to say well it's a PC that wasn't intended to be a gaming PC but has been amended and upgraded so that it becomes a gaming PC by putting the components in there. But people won't have it and I don't really understand why. There's been quite a lot of people sticking up for me which is, which is lovely to see uh, but also people not sticking up for me and saying this is not a gaming PC, this is a potato etc. But at what point do we draw the line? Well, this, in my opinion, which is a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is insanely cheap, I use this to play games on. Now, I could use this as a, more of a, a sort of office PC, or I could put Linux on there and, uh, and you know, just use it as a general purpose office PC. But I choose to play games on it, mainly because it's awesome at emulating stuff. But um, you wouldn't really class this as a gaming PC, would you? But you wouldn't class this as a PC at all. So would you call this a gaming Raspberry Pi? Or would you call this a gaming PCB? What would you actually call it when the intention is to purchase something to play games on? Does that not make it a gaming whatever the object is? For example, you can use the Edge browser on an Xbox One. You can also now plug in a mouse and a keyboard. But it is still a games console, mainly because there aren't many other peripherals that you would be able to use with an Xbox One. If you could add a printer, uh, if you could install some Windows software that doesn't come from the Microsoft Store, then potentially you would call a Xbox One a business PC. But you wouldn't though, would you? Because it is a games console. The original intention there was for it to be a console that plays games. So with that in mind, when I upgrade a Dell or a HP PC that was intended originally for the corporate world, or indeed the business world, why am I calling it a gaming PC? Now I, I know why I'm calling it a gaming PC, because I upgrade them and I play games on them. And there isn't actually any difference between the components that you would see in one of those PCs uh, versus what you might see in a gaming PC. Admittedly, marketing does work very well on gamers. The actual processor that you are likely to have in one of these PCs has probably been an equivalent model in a gaming PC at some point in the past. So, bearing in mind that these computers are just churning through ones and zeros, sometimes in parallel, using a graphics card, they are essentially processing the ones and zeros that they are instructed to do and outputting the graphics that we see on the screen. What is the difference? I need to know. I need to know why there is such a strong argument against an upgraded office PC being a gaming PC. Do we need to put ridiculous RGB lights in there? Nope, probably not, because they'll look stupid. Do we need to give it some, uh, I don't know, glass, tempered glass on the, uh, on the side of the case so we can see in it? Would that make it a gaming PC? Or is it just a gaming PC and people are so stubborn that they just won't acknowledge that. I hope this video has uh, unlocked a bit of debate uh, because I do not think there is a line between a gaming PC and a PC apart from in marketing. 
If you are looking at, for example, an advert for Dell PCs in a business magazine, the likelihood is that those PCs will be targeted at the business world. However, if you're reading a gaming magazine or on a gaming website with a Dell advert on there, then the chances are those PCs with the same processors in will be targeted at gamers. The only difference being the way the PCs look and likely the amount of graphics processing that the PC will handle. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do join in the debate in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.